make sure you guys click subscribe, turn the notification bell, follow me on Instagram, and make sure you guys give this video a like so you never know when I upload a brand new video. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Morphe 35 Hotspot Palette. I have done the video over here, so click it right here. And I'll, I have, and to, so I'm just gonna be doing the Valentine's Day. So I have, I'm gonna be using this palette. So like these colors, very pretty colors. So I'm gonna be doing the Valentine's Day. So I have Valentine's one. So yeah. Let's get started. Woo! So first off, we need to apply the primer and serum. So I use Neutrogena Primer and Pitch Shine Control. Just like this. So um, so let's get started. So I'm gonna apply so this way. I'm gonna remove my glasses. So we're gonna have to stink it. Get all this the serum in. Just gotta squeeze the most you can. Go. Then you here, here, lift the top, my nose, lift a little bit. Let's put a little bit in my nose. And like here. And I just kind of wish it to rub it in. You have to like prime your face so then make sure you don't have too much like on your nose, on your face. It's like it's a very it's very important to actually prime your face. I always serum that I use, so it's very helpful and I really like the serum. And I use it like a lot for a lot of my videos, so yeah. So after we apply serum, I'm going to be using this, it's the Neutrogena Lord in a True Match. I use C2, this is the one I use. So we're going to apply it on my face with my beautiful sponge that needs to be cleaned. Oh, this one's not to use. This one's empty, so I'm gonna have to grab the other. I have taken one of these from my JD Beauty makeup bag. So, let's pull that on. Go. Set. This is. There Go. Now, gonna tap it, tap it here, nose. This is not enough. Chin. Here. So here, so there. Because sometimes it doesn't cover everything. Now, gonna tap it very well. Try to make sure everything's like blended pretty well. That's what I like doing. So guys, let's continue. So we're just gonna make sure it's very practically. So like if you miss a spot, I always have to double check everything. We're here. So like over here. And we have to double check these and put them on the last one because I gotta make sure everything is like good sometimes I actually do miss the spot sometimes. We have to get the spot. Okay. 
here. It looks perfect. Perfect. It's amazing. So good. I didn't miss any spot. So we're good. So now we're gonna have to put on my concealer. So I'm using Tear Tear Ship Care Contour Concealer. I'm using in the shade a uh, light medium in the 29 29 gray. So let's apply light. Yeah. Hair. Make sure not too much is on here. with the I'm gonna yeah continue Wait, too much and my chin too yeah it's not good kind of a lot in here so make sure I got a lot because then it's oh, easier to scan my eyelids Give me one sec, guys. So sorry, guys. Okay. Now we're gonna have to make sure it's smooth everywhere. Quick crease, nice. Good. Make sure it's like spread out evenly and the uh, here. Beautiful. Then serve it on. Alright, so now we're gonna put the curl lashes. So it's very curled. Okay, next one. That really, really hurts. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, that really hurt. I need to get a new one. These are starting to hurt my eyes. That's okay. That actually does happen. So now my eyes are better now. So after you apply the concealer, now we're gonna have to use this Nana X uh, primer for the eyes so we can see it. So make sure these are good here. So the same thing. Okay, we done that. Then, um, we're gonna start getting these palettes right here. This is the palette we're gonna be using, so let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna grab our brush, this one, and then we're gonna grab into 
the pink one right here. You guys can see right here. Not too much because it's very, very powerful. So you dust it so it's not too much. And then I'll be over accessory powder. I'm gonna put this on my inner no my outer corner and then put the red on the middle. Just attack me lightly and wow, it's pretty. Okay, one more tap in. So the extras thing come on because there's like some extra on here. So I just clicked the pink one and just tapped it like halfway up to the outside and the inside I'm going to grab this right here. Next hits the red one, dust it up, the excess off. And the inner corner. Maybe some blender. Quite lightly. Looks pretty good. So now, yeah, I'm gonna grab the center one. Very shiny one, such right here. Just like a little bit, so you can put it on the inner corner of the eye. Oh, that's damn, that's really, really pretty. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's all for this eye. So now I'm gonna go off camera, finish the second eye, and I come back and show the other product. Then we're gonna continue doing the rest. So we'll be back. So guys, I just finished. So, so it like, looks really, actually, really, really cute. It's like I'm really happy with how it turned out. So now all you have to do is the lashes, the highlighter, and then we just turn it off with some sun spray. And you're done! See ya! Well, let's continue. So let's grab some highlighter. I'm gonna be using the Heartbreaker highlight from JD Beauty. So this is what it looks like. And I really like their products, so yeah. Savage. I need the heartbreaker. And I use the RX T brush. So I'm gonna put that on. Put this in here.
from here. Let's hide. Okay, looks good. Now we do the second one. Same thing. Well, like Stormer. and a little bit of my nose. The rapid. It's pretty good. Let's see. Last thing to do is use, so I'm going to be using the Maybelline Last Starlo, so it's like this. So, still love it. Make sure it's still. Not much. And then. The second eye. The end. I like it. So the last thing is to do is just to use I'm gonna be using the Morphe cutting use says Sony Spray. So, let's try it. Oh, sorry. We're easy. And then you have to let it like sit for a while, like fan it. I just have it on my hand. And it looks good. So yeah. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so yeah, so make sure you guys click subscribe, turn your notification bell, follow me on Instagram, and make sure you guys give this video a like so you know for when I upload my new video. So yeah, hope you guys stay safe, have a great one, and stay warm. Bye!